In this video, I want to show you guys how to create a menu that can either be seen on the entire site or on a specific page. So if I take this menu, for example, it is seen onto my entire site. Doesn't matter really where I go, this menu will show at the exact same place, looking exact the same. So I'll show you how to create that in a moment. So first, let's say I want to add a menu into the specific page. We're going to go to the home page. So we're going to go to customize, content and design. So always choose the page you want to work on before you go to content and design here. What you see here on home page is what you have on your page already. And add content block is what you can add to your page. If I go over this, my multiple photos is this one. It's a gallery, which is blue. I have this PNG as a photo here, which is blue. And this is red. So what is red means that it is on the entire site, on every page is on your site. Blue is your home page, and turquoise is any other pages. So let's create a menu into the entire site. So on top here, we're going to go to entire site. Now it is red. What we're going to go is scroll down to navigation, menu, and then they're going to ask you where you want to put it. In the middle, it is where your page content is going to be. So we're going to put that at the bottom of the page, always to be at the bottom. Here it is. That's our menu right there. We just drag and dropped it at the bottom. If you're not too sure you want at the bottom, you take this and you put it on top, or on the right side of this, or the bottom of this. But let's put it right there instead. Now let's customize this menu. Two ways to do that. We can select it from here. Or we can go over there. Now the layout. We can drag this around. You want. We can put horizontal, vertical, in our cordigan style, footer. But let's put it vertical. The alignment. So this our content block right here. The alignment will be center will be here and right will be there. So if I go right, for example, I'll switch to here. Let's go to the left side. You can change the text size, the color, we're gonna fit to emphasize it. There's a few options you can play with. Now the links, this is where you can add or subtract stuff to your menu. Let's say I don't want the browse. So the browse option can be deleted by pressing the garbage. We're gonna keep the search there. Let's add a link to a page, uh, the journal page. So they can ask you to name it, you can name it later. Link to, you're gonna press here, and you're gonna choose a page of your website. They ask you to pick one page, so I'm gonna choose a page. The page folder, the journal folder, and inside I have a journal page. I'm gonna choose this one. I want, say, to open this link into a new tab. We're gonna put this on. And if I don't like journal, I would like to write maybe blog as a title instead. Let's just write it blog. So you just change it right away. We go back to our links. We're gonna add one more link. Again, custom. I'm gonna take one for a page. Choose a page. I always create my pages in within folders. And the reason being, when I create a folder, let's say the gear reviews. I have two pages in there. I have the gear review series and the resources page. So if I want to, I can choose a gear review folder instead of choosing a single page. I'll press done on this. There's that new, uh, new tab that open here. Include sublinks, meaning do you want the two pages to show when you hover over the title. I will write yes. I will turn this on. And I do not want this thing to open a new tab. Instead, I want to go straight to that page from the same tab. We'll leave it as is. And the title for this will be reviews. Okay. And let's build uh, another link. Let's see, we're going to do something different. See, we're going to go to a contact form if I want to, or I have different things like a login, log out, or if I want a client area, if I have pictures to show to somebody, they can log in there and look at them. 
But let's say we want to make a contact form. It is very simple. It is done now. We're going to say contact B. And we're going to go back to our links. Let's say we don't like uh, the way the things are organized here. We want the search to be you know, further down below. We can just drag and drop our things in a menu. See how the menu just changed now. So let's say we're happy with this. We're going to press done. And we're going to preview this. So, well, before previewing, let's go to the home page. We're going to create a single menu into our home page. So basically, it's the same scenario here. We're going to create, let's say, a menu on the left here. We're going to drag this menu and create on the left side of a gallery here. Let's do a vertical menu again. Let's say with links, we're going to add to this a page of ours. We're going to choose, we're going to go to, let's say, uh, educational, educational series. Let's take the Canon Speedlight series. This is a series I've done on to Canon Speedlights. And we're going to open this into a new tab. And we're done with this. Now let's preview. Now I have this menu just created into this page. I don't like the gap that being created between my gallery and this. We're going to work on this in a moment. But if I scroll down, I should see that other full, here we go, the other menu we created, right? So see the reviews now? I have the options to the two pages, resources or the gear review series. So that's with the sublinks. So if I go to blog, it's supposed to open a new tab. So the journal just opened into a new tab. Or if I want to, I can go uh, to reviews and the gear review series. They'll bring me right there. Now the menu we created on the left side of a gallery is gone because it's only onto the home page. But if I scroll down, these are still there. So if I go contact me, this is what the contact looks like. And if I go back to home page, it'll bring me back to my home page. Now, like we mentioned, we don't really like this specific gap, so we're going to exit instead of publish. We're not publishing this, we're not done yet. We're going to exit. And a quick way to work with uh, menu and gaps and stuff like that. You go to your dimensions right here, that little angle tool there. The container width, we're going to write 10% instead of 50. And see how this menu is now is way smaller. This little off alignment is a little too high for me, so we're going to go top margin. Rewrite 12 there. Press the up or down arrows, and then we can do some changes until we like it. It's done. Now this is a blue menu on the home page only. This is a red menu onto the entire site. So this is how you create your menus. This is how you basically do them on a specific page or onto your entire website. So keep looking at my YouTube channels. Keep looking at my website. Please leave messages if you want to learn more stuff about SmugMug or different topics. And stay tuned and thanks for watching.